Hi, my name is Josie. I've spent the last 12 months traveling almost all of Southeast Asia. Right now, I'm in Laos. In this video, we started in Vientiane and we rented a car for the first time Let's to travel go! through Laos a different way. Is that you nervous? I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> through the countryside while driving up the country, meeting some locals. Sabadi! Sabadi! Stopping in Vang Vieng, just arrived here at our hotel in Vang Vien and finishing in Luang Prabang. We came across cows, locals, big potholes. Big I feel, just hit my head and a really great experience. This way to Luang Prabang. <laughs> We've just. Ooh. Oh, no, we went the wrong way at Casey. We have to go back. What? And then one iced latte. One iced latte. With sugar. And two almond milk. Yes. Doi, doi. Kop jai, my life. Where's the day, by the way? Is that you nervous? I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> it's the wrong side of the road and it's the wrong side of the car. <laughs> yes. It's okay? Yeah. <laughs> We're in the car. That was a super easy process. Came and picked it up yesterday. We said, can we get it picked up here in the city of Vientiane rather than in the airport? They brought it here and we changed the key. It's a manual. It's a oh. manual. Oh, no, no. We have to tell them. No, I'll deal with that. I'll be right. Um, we wanted an automatic. That's a manual. It's a manual car. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try anyway because they have no other cars. Basically, 11 a.m. and we we're meant to leave like two hours ago, and we didn't book a train, so we have kind of no option at this point. Plus, someone just parked me in. Someone's behind you now. Yeah. yeah. Someone's. What the f man? Oh. We just Googled it. None of my cars, my manual cars, have ever had this, but you have to lift up this little, this little thing here to get into reverse, which has never happened to me in my life. Let's go! Well, that's one. There we go. I am on the wrong side of the car right now and it's freaking me out. I don't know about you, but this is the side that I drive on at home. I'm so out of... I need. You I need quiet? Okay. You just stop right, vlogging right, right. and get open your phone and then put the hotel in. Okay. Because right now we're just driving. Cop day, my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, we had a problem with the car. Now it's time to go. <laughs> oh my god, you have to put the clutch in, babe, before you change gear. Hang on. You've just stalled, stalled it, I think. Yeah, I'm going to pull over. Yeah. Come on, look Bye, VNTN. Oh, it's going, no, no, no. Sorry, my bad. How far back have you go? Um, pretty far, yeah. Like, so far back. Cop jai, la lai. Cop jai, la lai. <laughs> we would drive all this way to this coffee shop and these are just empty buildings. Actually, half even built buildings. Yeah, I think it's a little bit further, same. look. Nope, that was it. <laughs> We just came into this random town in, town in Laos for that coffee shop. Let's go to Vang Vien. So you might be wondering, why are we driving? Why are we not just taking the train? Well, our original plan was only to see Vientiane and Luang Prabang. But then we saw Vang Vien and we're like, wow, why not add it to the trip? The original plan was to take the train. However, um, I don't know if it's something that I necessarily want to put my money towards. Plus, we're having a much like better time doing this anyway. It's easy views on the train, I suppose, for YouTube, but look how much better this view is, for example. Everyone can do their own research and look into what you want to do and what's best for you. If you're aware of YouTube or how YouTube works, it definitely would be seen as a more successful video to take the train with keywords and search and people looking to take the train in the future. But we just want to do what we want to do and we want to see the countryside of Laos, so. Sabadi. Sabadi. Whoa, look at this. Oh my God. Everybody, a car park? Huh? Car park? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Y
Uh, uh, car park? For a car? Oh, not not too good. Like, back there? Yeah. No okay, problem. back there. Alright. Okay. Right. Cop J. Okay, so we've just arrived here at our hotel in Vieng Vien and I'm really excited. We are about to check in. Got a passport for check in, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we're in the suite now. This is insane. This is massive. Michael's like, I've booked somewhere nice for you. Is a little treat. We've, we've kind of been traveling a lot lately and staying in like little hotels as we go. We haven't really stopped and relaxed for a while. So this is awesome. You've got a little seating place out here. And then, whoa. <gasps> Stop it. Well, this would be extra nice, except they're drilling something straight under me right now. So it doesn't sound very relaxing, unfortunately. But the view of these mountains right in front of me, priceless. Let's go anywhere, no destination. Good morning. We enjoyed our sunset last night and it was beautiful seeing it through those cliff faces like that. That was absolutely insane. But today I'm gonna go grab us some breakfast from the side of the road. So let's see what we can get Michael for breakfast. Hello, Sabadi. Sabadi, you want a sandwich? Yeah, I might yeah. get a menu. I think I'll get the uh, yeah. ham cheese omelette. Yeah. yeah, I'll get two. Okay. Yeah. Song. Song. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Take away, no? Yes, please. Cop chai. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Cop chai la la. Cop chai la la. Yeah. Lagoon. Yeah. <laughs> so that was twenty-five thousand kip each. So fifty thousand for the two of them. Lao has been completely probably one of the most affordable places we have gone so far. I think he was asking me for a tuk-tuk, but I really need a coffee. So let's go to this shop here. It seems to be the most popular, so let's have a look. Hey. Ice latte. Balsai nom ten. Balsai nom ten. Balsai nom. Balsai nom. Yes, I know. No sugar. <laughs> yes. So I didn't know just how many things there were to do here in Vang Vien. I had no idea. We weren't actually even meant to stop here. Like I said, we were meant to keep going through to Luang Prabang. So I've seen people hot air balloon riding, like tubing, canoeing, kayaking. There's been chairs in the sky. I don't even know how to describe it. So there are so many activities to do here. I think there's caves. There's all of those things. I wasn't really prepared for that. So if you are coming to Vang Vien, make sure you think about what you want to do and, and the things that you want to see, activities you want to participate in. Uh, it's coming up to 12 months of full-time travel and we are a little bit tired and exhausted. So packing three activities into one day for me just sounds like the absolute worst thing to do. <laughs> so this morning we have to pack up and leave this beautiful view behind. Not so sad about those construction noises though. <laughs> we are heading from here all the way up to Luang Prabang. I've never been there before, I am excited, but I'm a little bit sad to leave behind this amazing view of these mountains in front of us here in Vang Vien. We're also running about an hour late, so let's go. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so it's not a very long trip to the next place. We're gonna stop in about half an hour away to see this bridge. Apparently it's meant to be beautiful and apparently it's one of those things that you go to when you're here in Vang Vien. So we're gonna drive there first and then we're on the road trip to Long Pabong. You getting that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's an Indian trip. <laughs> I don't know them. You know any of them? What's something I like on? Whoa!
So we are on the way to this bridge. I think it's just a bridge over some water with the beautiful mountains behind you. Um, I've only seen a picture or two. So we're going to stop there. And luckily it's on our way through to Long Pabang. It says we have about four and a half hours left. But these roads are so potholy, so we'll see how that goes. This man up here is hosing all the potholes down. I think because the road's wet, it like solidifies it, and he's hosing it for everyone. Yeah, he less smoke in front of his house, less oh. dust. He wants less dust in front of his house when we drive past it. Oh. There's no massive highway. It's just this dirt road, and all these houses are straight off it. So we're just saying it must be hard to live here with all these cars and dust and trucks all day. Oh no, it's just a little lake. Yeah. It's back this way. That's the picture. That's the scene. There yeah, is it. no bridge set up. Oh no. The bridge is down. Oh. Do you want to pull over and have a look or? I mean, there'll be plenty of other things. To yeah. Say. Well, there's no, there's no way for us it's, to walk on it it's anyway. It's dry season, so the bridge is down. <sighs> we found the bridge, but it's uh, down right now. There was down, the, most of the bridges, actually all of the bridges Chicken. were down where we were staying in Vang, Vang Vien as well. Yeah, there's no bridge to stand on or do. It was so, pretty though. We do have to save ourselves a little bit of time on this trip if we want to get there on time, so look out. <laughs> look oh out. my God. <laughs> I am not exaggerating. These potholes are no joke. Oh my. Oh. oh! That's not as bad as before. Before it was pure dirt. Okay, so. So I can see. Oh. I can see why now it was. it's the same distance of kilometers from Vientiane to Vientiane. But it says it's gonna take like six hours longer? Yeah. It's because you have to go over these things. This is insane. Like the potholes and the road is crazy. We actually hired a ute and they didn't have one we got there to pick it up and they didn't have one as you saw at the beginning of the video and they upgraded us to this you need a big car if you're going to do this drive you need a big car because the pothole you will not survive the potholes yeah <laughs> yep. i just hit my head really bad <laughs> oh, oh. oh. This way to Luang Prabang? <laughs> this way? Okay. Thank you. Oh! Oh my! Let's be ready. Whoa! <gasps> oh. I can't get over how beautiful these landscapes are. These hills, they, Michael's been to Scotland, he was saying it reminds him of the Scottish Highlands. It's insane how beautiful this is and we're just weaving, ducking in between everything. I just didn't expect this. I didn't expect it to look so hilly and mountainous and beautiful so this is a cool drive it's so much better than the train it's like scotland without the bagpipes which is better right So we were just joking about how Thailand has Amazon coffees chains everywhere and we came across an Amazon 
yeah this is insane there was nowhere else to stop though everywhere else was just a little like residential town somebody ice latte yes so two yes uh bo bo sai nam tan nam tan noi bo luo bo sai lui so we've got about three hours to go and we're just stopping here. We couldn't see anywhere else to stop. It was all just houses and towns. So there's a random little service station. I think Michael might get a Lao sandwich, depending, but I need a coffee. I haven't had one today yet. We'll say Nam Tan. No. We'll say Nam Tan. Thank you. Kop chai lai lai. What's it called? Lao sandwich. Just Lao sandwich, yeah. But what, there was a name. Kao or something? I don't know. So I'm gonna try and get Michael a Lao sandwich. I wanted some like snacks, but I also don't feel like I want snacks while I'm like bouncing around in the car like that. So, do you have a Lao sandwich? Sandwich? Yeah, Lao sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Wait, just want just one? I'll have one. Yeah. Just one. Like, no. Um, no. <laughs> Ning. Yeah. And uh, do you have peanut butter sandwich? Yeah. With peanut butter. Um, Lao sandwich. Pop. Yeah, pop. Pop. yeah, that's okay. Pop, like a, um, like doi, doi, doi. I'll ask for peanut butter. Hold on. Second sandwich. One with it? More. No, okay, that's alright. Just Ning. Yeah. Ning. Ning. How much is it? it says 15. Ask, ask, she has English. How much for one? 15. 15. 15, perfect. That'll do me. You don't want anything at all? I don't want a last sandwich. I feel. No, but like. <laughs> Like some pockies. I'll jump in around the car like that. Not really. Okay. Some noodles. And spill the hot water <laughs> all over me and get third degree burns. Ah, cup of chai, lay lay. Thank you. <laughs> it is a beautiful day today. Um, so what better to sit outside with a nice coffee. So we're about what? Three hours away? Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see Long Kabong. Saw some ladies with some fruit, so I'm gonna go go get some. Sabadi! Sabadi! Hi! <laughs> How much? How much? One kilo for. Sorry. That's it. It's a bit. It's a bit. 20,000? Mm. 20,000 for a kilo. For a kilo? What are they for a kilo? 18. For 18. For a kilo. Okay. So mm. we get a couple of these? 15 for this? Mm. Uh. 15. Okay. We have uh, Nung. Uh. Nung. Nung. And uh. Nung. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, we'll pay for one okay, kilo. Okay. Yeah, you one kilo. Okay. One yeah, kilo. yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Doi, doi. 33. Are you okay? Company. Oh, no, no, no. You keep. Okay. It's uh, for you. Thank you. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kop chai, lai lai. Sok di, sok di. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye, Kop chai. We know that we definitely just got overcharged. There's no way they're paying 15, a local is paying 15,000, 20,000 kip a kilo. No chance at all, but we're happy to pay that. And then a little bit more driving through these towns and seeing, you know, this more than happy to give them an extra 50 cents in this case so yeah definitely think we got overcharged but it's all right <laughs> today it's okay somebody there. Okay, there. there's trucks everywhere and like where do we go like who goes oh, now oh no we went the wrong way at casey we have to go back what we have to go back, went the wrong way at Casey. Went yeah. the wrong way at Casey, back in that town. We have to go back, it's fine. You have to go all the way back there? Yes. 
Okay. So this is the faster way. So Google Maps has taken us this way, but this is not the best way. So now we have to go back to where we got coffee, which was quite a long time ago. Maybe half an hour ago. Maybe yeah. half an hour or more. So let's head back there and then go the right way, I guess. That's enough camera time. Okay. That means he's stressed. Yep. So we ended up going back to the 13. It was 13? Yeah, Route 13. Route 13. And we've just... Whoa! It is really bad for potholes and it's just like a basically a windy road like in the mountains in the hills and if you make one bad mistake you're going down there so um <laughs> yeah it's a little bit stressful yeah i will say that these potholes and everything are definitely slowing down the process and the drive by a long time Okay, so we have about 140 something kilometers to Luang Prabang. We are stuck behind about three or four trucks. We're almost there. We're not that far away. I mean, maybe a two hours. Two hours. <laughs> We're still in the car. We are so high right now that there are so many, we're in the clouds. Like we're looking over there and I can see that we're in the clouds. The clouds are the same height as us. So that is how tall we have climbed in this car on this mountain. We thought we were kind of close as per my last update, but apparently we're still three hours away because of how long it's taking to go through all these windy roads and things. So there's all these little towns just sporadically after another. You'll drive for a little bit. There'll be nothing besides just the drop off a cliff. And then you'll go through another town and you'll see all these kids playing and these people washing their clothes. And then you'll go for a little bit longer without seeing anything. And then you'll go through another little, little town and you've got all of these houses on the side of this road, this one road. And on the other side of these houses are like the cliff. It just drops straight off. It's Not just crazy to see, you know, get a small little glimpse of these people's lives while driving through where they live. So it's so late, it's like 10 past 6 or something. We're probably about 35, maybe 40 minutes away from Luang Prabang. But as you can see, dead black of night time, can't see a thing. So I can't wait to get there at this point. Twin <laughs> room should be like a bed, a same one bed. Two beds. Your book is twin room. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's okay, it's okay. So, you, you want to change that chair for you. To top it off, we accidentally, well Michael accidentally booked a twin bed <laughs> and we he was offering he was so lovely he was offering us a double bed but we don't fit into a double bed we both haven't been on a diet for a while let's put it that way so i think we're getting a uh, separate beds for the next five nights <laughs> which isn't always a bad thing when you travel together 24 7. perfect and then your breakfast starts 7 30 to 9 30. 7 30 9 30. Yeah. perfect <laughs> Kop jai, lai lai. Oh, thank you what a crazy crazy drive we're in this beautiful little homestay room in long pabong right on the road like look right on the road it is absolutely beautiful here i cannot wait to explore this city the drive was insane it took us nine and a half hours i was not expecting that and we did go the wrong way for about 20 minutes or 30 minutes I had an absolute experience though happy excited and happy 
I'm both that we made it here alive, <laughs> first of all, but also that we did that. We've normally taken trains or planes or buses. That's the first time we've driven across a country like that. And that's a different way to travel. And I'm excited that we did do that. So now we're in Luang Prabang and I can't wait to show you this beautiful, beautiful city. Make sure you do like and subscribe. It'll be my next video. But if you like this video, you might like my first day in Laos in general. It's on the screen for you right now. Click that one next and I'll see you in the next one in Luang Prabang. Can I already tell it's probably gonna be one of my favorite cities. See ya.